the another one that we have is the table layout here so a table layout is something that arranges its children into rows and columns so if I have say I need to have something which arranges I need to have a layout which I can arrange in rows and columns then this is the layout that I can utilize in Android so a table layout consists of a number of table rows objects remember this is uh, the exact keyword that I'm using here because this is the exact keyword that is used in Android so if I am having a table uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be having a table layout under the table layout if I have need to have various rows I can have these various table rows as the views in the table layout I hope this is clear to everyone very very much like uh, say a view group containing the various table rows view group would be the table layout and then the views would be the table row an example to show this here you can see this wherein I have created a table layout I have created a table row here under the table row what I have done is I have created a text view and I have just closed this table row another table row another few more text views and similarly I can just I'll just switch to the example on Eclipse here so instead of the relative layout what I'll be do, using here is the table layout and I'll just close this table layout so I have done this I have just opened and closed the table layout here now what I need to have is I need to have a table row here I'll just use a table row here I can just uh, assign some layout height and width to the table row I say height is say wrap content width I say I say give it a width as say wrap content again once I'm done with this I think table row is good to go here I can place this I'll just I'll remove this property here which was for the relative layout I'll just move this text view under the table row I'll move this text view I'll just remove these properties that I had for the relative layout here I'll move this text view again to the table row and I'll just remove this text view here so what I have presently is a table layout which contains just one single table row and it has got two text views in it so let's go to the graphical layout here I think yes here we have it here, here we have the hello world test activity in the relative layout I'll just change the text of it I'll just change this text to as say column 1 and then I'll just oh sorry I'll just change that in the ID here I'll change it to column 1 and I'll change this text to say column 2 so once I do a control S here I can see the various views here one after the other so I can have multiple table rows I'll just copy this up the complete one I think I have a question coming up from here Mohit is asking me a question here sir what is the difference between a relative and a table layout the difference is something which I am just showing to you a Mohit here in relative layout what we can have is we can have the various views relative to one another so if I say I have a view which is uh, say a text view and I need to place some items on top of say just above the text view or I need to place some items at the bottom of the say uh, complete relative layout so in that case I will be utilizing a relative layout a table layout is very much like a collection of linear layouts here what I have done here is as you can see on the view I have created two table, row, two table rows so you can think of as a single linear layout which is arranged horizontally alright similarly I have created another table row which you can again think of another linear layout which is arranged horizontally but the only difference between this is that the table layout houses all of these as a row instead of uh, say having a different linear layouts what I am having as a layout main layout is the table layout
this is the only difference between say a table layout and a relative layout and even the linear layout so this is how we separate out the linear layout the relative layout and then finally the table layout I hope this is clear to you Mohit why we use uh, it is just a, a way of representing information in different user interfaces so for that we have a table layout for sake we have a linear layout and we have the relative layout the same kind of say schema can be achieved with the linear layout as well but it is just that we have the table layout which eases us eases out the task a little that is the only difference So this is uh, an example of the table layout here. Uh, if you want, I can just run this example for you all here. I was just not running these examples because anything that is shown onto the user uh, uh, is shown on the graphical representation would be reflected back onto the user interface. So here you can see column one, column two, another table. This is one single table row. Another one after that is the column one and column two. I hope this is clear to everyone how we use the table layouts in Android.